we're still four and a half feet high right now. Lake levels are still a little high at Ray Roberts Lake State Park. A little bit up over your waist. We're open for business. But the good news? Three boat ramps have reopened after being closed since the May 2015 floods. <laughs> I know. Hey, good to see you. What all they opened up? Uh, Pond, Singer, and Jordan. We're really happy to know that the boat ramps, some of them are open now. Very happy. And local businesses are happy for the relief. Danny Golden has been making his living as a fishing guide on this lake for 13 years. We had 95 keeper sand bass, a catfish, and a uh, spotted bass. But as the water recedes, millions of invasive zebra mussels are left behind covering everything that was submerged. Well, just in that 10 week period that uh, the area was flooded, we've had a tremendous explosion of zebra mussels. They went from being invisible to the naked eye to uh, literally a quarter to five sixteenths of an inch long. It almost sounds like potato chips underneath my feet and there's that many shells. And volunteers are working harder to get the park in shape to reopen. The hardest thing to clean up is these zebra mussels. Zebra mussels are a destructive invasive species that can damage motorboats, hurt aquatic life, hinder water recreation, and even affect our water supply. It's the zombie of the lake. They can harm boats and attach to the, the sides and the motors. They get on the beaches, they can cut feet. It's just not a good thing to have. Now more than a dozen partner organizations are teaming up to stop the spread of zebra mussels to new lakes in Texas. Unfortunately, it's knocking at our doorsteps. In 2009, the zebra mussel was found in Lake Texoma. and has now made its way to Lakes Belton and Waco. We're launching an ambitious public awareness campaign with a very, very simple message. Clean, drain, and dry your boat. The fine for not following the law? $500. Anything that touches the water to clean, drain, and dry, those items, uh, your boats, your kayaks, your fishing equipment, to ensure that those mussels aren't spread to other lakes. Taking these precautions will help keep Texas lakes bountiful for our economy and our enjoyment. For Texas Parks and Wildlife, this is Karen Loke.